how did Albert approach a topic like this? Because the, one of the things that's so charming about this film to me and about a lot of his films is that there just seems to be just kind of this free flow of experience that you're just kind of, you just kind of feel like you're just capturing things as they go, but it's not, it doesn't feel drifty. It doesn't, it, it feel, it feels like it has a solid kind of center and point. How, how do you do that? I mean, I think it's a combination of things. I mean, I think that um, one is just, I think, Al's faith that people are interesting and you're going to find that they're interesting by just being there and putting time in and observing them and having a relationship with them. So, I mean, I think that he was very open to just kind of being down for anything. And when we first, you know, when we started with Iris, Iris was really interested you know, saying like, you know, let's film parties and let's film all these things, which aren't as interesting because you can't hear anything and you can't see anything. And so, you know, we would start doing that, but then we would just start doing everything. And I think that in some ways that would kind of lay this this land of trust and and love for each other, which I think, and, and, and if that's the center of it, then other things kind of form. But that isn't to say that, you know, there was a, you know, Paul Lovelace, who was our editor, worked with us and you know there's an editing process that kind of comes after that so that kind of helps put in, in the structure but through working on it at least my experience you know would be that if you have this feeling of trust and, and faith that the things are going to kind of work out and they did but this film also took four years it was definitely a little drifty too I think that's the perfect word because it was hard to we all really, we were such a small, tight, collaborative crew, but we also, you know, we didn't have full funding for it, and it wasn't super easy to find, and um, it took a long time to kind of, you know, Iris is a very strong personality and was used to doing things a certain way, but it was really hard to get her to trust us. I think she was really curious also, like Albert. I feel like that's really where their kinship lay. They both also had amazing style, but the curiosity really being the main, um, you know, personality trait. And and it, it just was a process that it couldn't have happened sooner necessarily, but I think being drifty is okay in that way. Because, you, you, know, you know, the very, very first scene in the movie was our last shoot. So it was finally a chance that she let us into that part of her world.